Did it, did it, did it, did it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another drawing video and this one is in watercolor. I decided to watercolor this little gal and this was requested by another YouTuber named Belinda Jane. So thanks Belinda for requesting this gal. Um, so she requested me to do a girl in New York during, uh, well not during fall time, but she requested a girl in New York and I thought it would be really cute if I made it during fall time since it is now fall and fall is like my favorite because pumpkin spice and the orange leaves and all that stuff which in Hawaii we don't have the orange leaves but we do have pumpkin spice at Starbucks. So uh, I wanted to go ahead and do that with um, this painting and I apologize if I sound a little bit nasally. I actually have a cold so I'm actually not working today and I decided to paint this because I just it just makes me feel better. So um yeah so this painting is being used with oh well the products that I'm using for this painting is my Windsor and Newton um Cotman watercolor tubes and then I'm using this simply art a watercolor palette which is like five bucks from the craft store which is really cheap and something I really recommend if you guys are getting into watercolor um, so yeah I'm using that so I'm just kind of mixing up with cheap uh, products and more expensive products so just shows that you don't really need all the expensive products to get a painting like this but yeah, so when I decided to draw her um, I kind of dwelled on the idea and I was like well it's fall and why not just do the video. Why not just re do like a little painting? So I decided to look up some ideas of how I want to draw her outfit, which is what mainly got me excited to drawing this look was the outfit because in Hawaii I don't get to really dress like this too much. Well, I kind of could, but without the scarf and all that. But I kind of pictured myself in New York at Central Park, which I've never been to New York, but I've seen pictures. So I kind of wanted to get the whole idea of it. So I researched some pictures and um, kind of think about it if I was there, what would I be wearing? So this is kind of like what I would be wearing if I was there. And um, she's also carrying a pumpkin spice latte, hot latte, uh, with this outfit, which I think it kind of pulls the whole fall look together. And then I had to go ahead and add my boots because what's fall without wearing boots? So I did black boots and then I decided to put on some knee-high socks inside because I think they're so cute. I would totally wear them here, but it's just way too hot here. But if I was in New York, I would totally rock that look. I think it's really cute. And then for the skirt, I really wanted to add a maxi skirt. Well, not super like maxi, but kind of around the ankle I think that length is super cute and I really want to get a skirt like this so I just wanted to add that on top of this girl and then I thought I would add an infinity scarf on top of her just to add like that warmness I mean I don't know I don't know how cold it is right now in New York but I'm imagining it to be cold for me because I get cold really fast and Hawaii doesn't get cold at all so I would picture myself freezing so instead of making her like super super warm and everything I just decided to have her wear some handcuffs uh, handcuffs um those gloves where your fingers pop out yeah I decided to add that to her where she is a little bit warm but a little bit cool and then I decided to add some stripes to her long sleeve I just felt like it matched perfect with this whole skirt and um her bag is brown and it's like that leather one um she probably has a camera inside and the bag that i'm painting here she went shopping today so which is why she has a pumpkin spice and she's also happy that she's walking in central park and um just by herself getting her some alone time and a free time on her day off from work <laughs> and um yeah so i decided to draw her a little starbucks cup because i just picture fall with starbucks hot lattes or coffee <coughs> excuse me um so i decided to do that and she has actually has pumpkin spice latte inside like i said before because that's the only drink i will ever drink at starbucks beside a vanilla latte but pumpkin spice latte is my favorite so i had to make her wear it oh drink it sorry <laughs> And then as for her details of her face, I decided to give her some blue and brown eyes like I always do. And then I even added her like a little septum on her nose ring because, I mean on her nose because that's what I have and I like to draw girls that replicates me. So she has an ombre or balayage and then she has some brown eyeshadow, really soft makeup and her brows are on point. Um, 
yeah, and then she has some like winged liner like I always do and some berry lips and I added her some blush uh, which is later because I think it like Oh, there you can see now. <laughs> I added her some of those to add a little bit of color on her skin. Even though New York, I think she'd be a little bit pale during this time. But I wanted to add that on top of her. And then, um, yeah, I kind of wish I added freckles, but I forgot to. And then uh, I'm using this white jelly roll pen. This is my favorite pen. You've probably seen me use this a lot in all my videos. But I use this to highlight a lot of the details. Um, you can go ahead and use like paint, acrylic paint to add highlight but I was lazy to grab it so I ended up using my jelly roll pen. Um, they're really cheap and I bought them online so I really recommend, recommend, I can't talk right now, I'm so sick, but I really recommend you guys getting a white a jelly roll pen or any kind of ink gel pen to use for highlighting. And then I even used my Micron pen, the 01, to outline my Starbucks cup. Um, I'm not going to outline the whole girl because I really wanted the detail to be focusing more on top of the cup rather than the outfit. I mean, I really like the outfit, but I really wanted the cup to stand out the most because I'm going to get a busy background. So as you can see by the background, I wanted to add a little bit of Central Park inside. And I apologize if I'm not doing correctly I kind of looked at a picture and kind of followed the way the park was set up so I just drew a tree well two trees and then some three trees in the back part and me brown and I decided to make the background a little bit grayish um just to add a little bit of color because I know during fall time it's not it might not be like super super blue skies but I wanted to give this day a little bit of a kind of like a cloudy day but not raining and just a nice day in the fall and um just for the background i added three trees and of course two trees for the foreground just to give it some perspective and then the fun part is this part where i decided to make the ground a little bit of brown and reddish some reds inside um so that way the leaves could fall on top of it and add a nice tint so that's what you see me doing here and then i went ahead and start adding a little bit more detail on the ground and as well as the cement um, this is the part where they have the sidewalk which is she what she's walking on and then the fun part I decided to add some leaves of polka dots all around well some messy polka dots all around the background because I didn't want to draw like two perfect leaves I wanted to have like that blurred effect so I want I went ahead and did like a hundred of red leaves, orange leaves, yellow leaves, um, just to add like the fall look. And I didn't want that to be perfect. I wanted all messy polka dots. Just so that way she's kind of more in subject and everything else is a little bit of blurred out. So I went a little bit crazy on this and even added some on the cement because leaves will fall wherever it goes. So yeah, I added that. And then I went ahead and added some orange and yellow leaves just to add some more of that color. And I think this is just super pretty. I think it adds like that nice fall look. And I don't know, when I see this, I really think of like Central Park. So that's why I went ahead and did it. And um, yeah, I added more yellow, um, some more red. Um, I even mixed up like orange and red together. So, so that way they would come out a little bit more darker. So that way you'd see some contrast and some brightness. And um, and um, yeah, I'm just adding in more stuff. Um, the brush that I was using, I was trying to make it a little bit where the bristles were spread out. Just so that way it has a little bit more texture to this. Um, right now you can see me adding some yellow. So I'm kind of lightening up a little bit. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and use another darker color, which is the reddish orange. And that's going to be me adding more of that contrast. So I'm still continuing with the yellow, as you can see. And then uh, I decided to add a fence in the background because the picture that I saw, there was like a gate. So there's like a black gate. So I decided to add that black gate right there. And um, yeah, I just decided to add that for some detail. And... Um, so to finish off this look, I completed the rest of the gates, which I think it's adds that special touch to this painting. And then I decided to finish off the last part of my contrasting for my leaves, which I made it really, really bright red just to complete it. And yeah, this is pretty much the entire look. I hope you guys like this. Please let me know down below what you guys think about it. Um, I wouldn't mind doing another one during winter time. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any quests, leave them down below and I'd be happy to like do it um yeah um just want to say thank you so much to everybody who's watching and thank you for all the amazing comments that you guys have been leaving me and i will see you guys later so bye